What is up guys, it's Greenbird49 here, and today we are playing some Grand Theft Auto 5, and in the background I have some gameplay of me using the Dodo to go get some stuff out in the sea for crates. I do accidentally destroy one of them though with my sticky bomb, so that sucks. But today I'm going to be telling you some finance and felony tips and tricks to help you guys. So number one, do you really, really badly want that Grady X8? And do you have a friend who really, really badly wants that? Also, if so, don't waste your money on crates or don't waste your time on high on those specific standards. Just do fleek of jobs back and forth. It only costs 11,000 to set up. And if you split it 50-50 a time or 40-60 a time, you make like 80,000 a time. So that's like 70,000 every 15 minutes instead of 250,000 every hour and a half or so. And I'm um, losing money from the Pacific Standard too. Yeah. Um, let's see, next tip. Uh, do you have those boats out in the ocean and you need to um, go kill them just buy a dodo it's only five hundred thousand dollars you can land in the water get out kill them take your crates get your crate get back in the dodo just take off and go deliver your crates for do selling your crates are you doing the titan one and if you fly too high you get the cops try and fly low but not too low because that keeps you from getting the cops. It keeps you off their radar most of the time. Um, let's see. Is there that Valkyrie that you have to take out? Or three or two helicopters that you have to take out? Um, to get your crates? Use the quick inventory to, uh, and then go to inventory and go down to ammo and buy you some homing launcher ammo. Um, yeah. Let's see. Another tip. Don't waste your money on stuff that you don't need to buy, like that um, Dodo video I made yesterday on testing the Dodo. I made that video for you guys, so if you want to buy the Dodo but you're not sure, I showed you what it can do. And I'll probably be making another video on that with the Rumpo Custom also. That'll probably be coming out sometime tomorrow. Um, so that'll be episode 2 of before you buy um yeah and is do you want to pick in between a buzzard and a savage because you but you know they're both really good or do you want a valkyrie or something like that don't buy the more expensive one buy the buzzard because you can always quick inventory that through your securo or ceo and you can spawn that wherever and whenever you want um yeah that's actually what I'm saving for right now, even though I keep spending my money on stupid stuff. Gun locker. The gun locker, um, it's pretty decent. It's not worth the 535000 you pay for it, because I bought it. I don't know why. Um, but it's helpful. Like, if there's always those seven weapons in the way of your submachine guns that get in your way all the time, they're super annoying. Put them in your gun locker. Oh, I died. Put them in your gun locker. Um. Yeah, let's see. Also, the safes, for you people who think the safes puts, like, all the TVs and crap in there. It only puts money in there, and it doesn't put that much, so I would not recommend buying that. Um. Let's see. Make sure you always have some sort of armor on or else you're going to constantly die like I did here. Um, let's see. When you're trying to get into a public session by yourself or just with like two other people, what I recommend is trying to find one of your friends who are already in a session by yourself like I did right now but my friends left. Or just keep leaving sessions and you'll eventually find a session that only has like five people. And eventually those five people will leave. That's what happened to me last time before I joined this session. The five people. There are four people. I was the fifth person. They all actually ended up leaving after about 30 minutes. And none of them were even good. So they weren't even going for my um, crates. Also, do not hire low levels 
or do not hire people who you know are not going to go for the crates. I would recommend hiring crew members and friends and um, that's it. Because if you hire that random level 270, maybe he's probably not going to help you with the crates. He's probably going to go on a freaking rampage with his freaking minigun ammo. So yeah, unless you know they're going to help you with your crates, I would recommend not hiring them. Also, is there that one session that you get into but finally by yourself, but there's that one super high level in your session who's like rank 300? What I do is I send them a message saying, I don't kill you, you don't kill me, and most of the time they say deal or okay, and they don't mess with you if you don't mess with them. So they're just sitting there doing crates while you do crates, which is pretty helpful. Um, let's see, what else? I don't know. Um, also, when you guys are going to, like, fly those, t um, what is it, the Cuban 800s, and there's those buzzards shooting at you, fly really low and swiver through the air a lot. Um, usually you can escape them, and if you get a far enough distance from them, it'll start letting you drop the crates again. Um, yeah. And for the tugboat one, I would recommend having someone who has a, like, grenade launcher on them, or a, like, combat MG, so you can destroy those shark, uh, sea sharks, even though they're, they don't really do anything to you anyways, but still. Most of the time when they crash into your tugboat, they freaking die. That's what it does to me, at least. Um, also, I would not recommend selling your crates when you're the only person in your CEO. Recom I'd recommend hiring somebody because most of the time, um, if it's going to be the truck one, and there's usually going to be two trucks or three trucks, and you'll have to do those by yourself, so I'd not recommend uh, doing that by yourself. Also, do not waste your money on three crates because... Three crates is $18,000, which is a ton of money. And most of the time, it's only worth $20,000 more than that. So I'd not, I would recommend doing two crates at a time, either by yourself with other people. Um, but that's all the tips for this video, guys. And I will see you guys later with another video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed.